Welcome to Credit Matters. I'm Mike Skirbo, Standard & Poor's Corporate Ratings Group. Today we're going to talk a little bit about our outlook for the U.S. packaging sector. I'm joined by Henry Ficucci. Henry's an Associate Director based, based here in New York on the Chemicals, Packaging and Environmental Services team. Henry, thanks for joining. Thank you for having me, Mike. So what's our outlook uh, for this sector? Sure. Uh, currently, the sector is uh, um, very uh, stable. Uh, we have 24 of the 25 companies on stable outlooks, and uh, we have one company on negative outlook. Um, a lot of what's driving this is the uh, demand for food and packaging and consumer products. Uh, it's been favorable for the last few quarters. Uh, we expect that to be favorable for the next few quarters and, and throughout two, uh, two, 2013. Um, you know, also, you know, what we're seeing is that, you know, companies since the recession uh, have been implementing uh, various cost reductions, uh, operating efficiency um, initiatives, um, you know, whether it's uh, headcount reductions or rationalization of facilities, uh, uh, using, um, you know, less, uh, you know, using scrap uh, mm -hmm. more efficiently uh, and light weighting material. So, um, you know, a combination or, you know, a few of those things, you know, companies have continued to do those and uh, um, extract uh, cost out of their businesses. So, uh, when you look at, you know, kind of the high level, you know, all the cost reductions and operating efficiencies coupled with uh, the, the f uh, positive demand trends, uh, you know, we're looking at a pretty stable uh, outlook for the entire sector. Okay. So, but beside, beside the, the, the trend of uh, cost efficiencies and focus on the cost side, what, what other trends do you see mm -hmm. in, in the sector? Sure. So since January, we've seen a pretty nice pickup in uh, refinancing activity, um, whether it's to fund uh, acquisitions or to reprice debt or to extend maturities. So earlier this year, we saw B-Way Holdings uh, acquire Ropac Packaging, uh, WNA Holdings uh, acquired Parpac Packaging. Uh, we, we saw a couple of uh, refinancings uh, with uh, Tricor Braun, Berlin Packaging, uh, Ball Corporation, uh, Berry Plastics. Um, so, you know, we'll continue to see those in the next few quarters and uh, to, uh, uh, throughout 2013. So, so you, 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 let's get back to you, the, the, your first answer. We have a fair amount, mostly stable outlooks in mm -hmm. the sector. Right. Maybe ta identify some risks as well as some opportunities. Sure. That, that, that we're seeing, the, what, what we expect in the sector. Yeah, I think the key uh, risk here with the, you know, the favorable environment and the uh, positive uh, debt markets here is that, um, you know, acquisitions and financial policy is probably going to be the key um, risk here. Um, you know, as you know, um, many of the companies in the sector uh, are private equity owned. So, uh, to the extent that acquisitions and financial policy decisions uh, uh, sh uh, weaken the financial profile beyond our expectations, we may see some negative outlooks in the next few quarters. A um, couple of other risks, uh, you know, I'll state uh, is, uh, you know, food price inflation, uh, gas prices, mm -hmm. uh, the move towards uh, private labels. Uh, you know, on the food uh, price inflation side, uh, you know, as certain food items uh, increase, we can see the packaging material for those items uh, uh, being, you know, being impacted. Mm -hmm. um, you know, gas prices, you know, to the extent that they surge, um, and it impacts the driving patterns of consumers. We can see uh, items such as single serve items and uh, you know, f uh, single serve uh, packaging items for foods decline. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of these are sold at convenience stores and you know, gas stations and the like. Um, and on private labels, really, um, you know, depending on you know, what kind of product you're talking about, uh, we can see some move towards private labels and uh, you know, a lot of the, the companies in this sector uh, focus on branded products. So. Um, you know, depending on the magnitude of that, s of that change, uh, we mm -hmm. can see some companies being impacted. Um, in terms of opportunities, you know, we have some larger companies that are more um, uh, geographically diverse. They've been investing, um, you know, some more heavily than others, but they've been investing more and more in emerging markets such as Latin America, Eastern Europe, uh, Asia. So, um, you know, those, you know, the profitability and earnings from those areas are more than offsetting some of the weakness in the domestic uh, markets. Uh, you know, a perfect example is Ball Corporation. Um, you know, they've been investing pretty uh, nicely in, uh, um, in Latin America, and that's more than offsetting some of the weakness uh, in the domestic markets. And on, you know, on the plastic packaging side, you know, consolidation uh, continues. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we've seen uh, some acquisitions earlier this year. Uh, and we'll see more of those as we kind of plow into 2013. So Henry, j just one last quick question. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about any recent rating actions we've taken uh, mm -hmm. in, the, in the space and also what we expect uh, going forward. Sure. 
So uh, we had two new issuers in the space, uh, Berlin Packaging and WNA Holdings. Uh, Berlin Packaging is one of two uh, major uh, packaging distribution companies, uh, and WNA Holdings is a, um, a manufacturer of plastic uh, dinnerware and cutlery products. Um, we had two upgrades in the sector um, for Technoplex and Intertape polymers. We went to B plus on Intertape and then B on Technoplex. Um, and then we had one uh, outlook revision to negative on B-Way Holdings. Uh, they uh, implemented a, um, they completed a $250 million uh, uh, debt finance dividend uh, in May. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've uh, revised the outlook to negative. Uh, you know, the thinking behind this one is that, uh, you know, if a lot of the synergies uh, do not materialize related to the ROPAC acquisition that they've uh, uh, completed earlier this year, uh, we may be looking at a lower rating. Uh, if they do materialize, you know, we may be back at the stable at the current rating. So, um, so um, all in all, I think you know the outlook for the sector looks pretty good. Um, you know, financial policy and acquisitions is going to be a concern. Um, you know, given the current environment and the uh, positive debt markets. Well, that's great, Henry. Appreciate you joining. Thank you, Mike. We'll see you again next time.